This is Kindle 3 keyboard, a reading device from 2010. It's nearly 15 years old and it should be completely unusable. That is not the case. If you know exactly what you're doing, you can make it work for you and quite comfortably at that. In this video, I'll jailbreak it and install code reader on it. I'll mark the video for different sections so you can check them and and bypass all the blabbering I'm doing. So why exactly are people actually getting this device? Well, this version of Kindle had a few unique things that you no longer see in modern Kindles. For example, it does have a keyboard, a physical keyboard, a headphone jack, a micro SD slot, two speakers at the back. You can literally play music on this device with MP3 files while you read books at the same time. You cannot do that on modern Kindles. And I could be a bit biased, but in my eyes, this is the sexiest Kindle ever existed. I have my device jailbroken already. You can see I have Kual installed here and inside it there's Co-Reader. But for this demonstration, I will reset the device back to its factory default and start the process anew. Problem is that when I jailbroken this Kindle, I had to search high and low. And there were many different threads on it many different tutorials and files with different versions that spanned over even a decade and some worked, some worked partially and some just made me mad. So first let me reset this device. I will upload the files to a drive as well but I think it's recommended to get the files directly from the mobile reads and you should never download things from other people like me. I could send you a virus. No, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. Or am I? When you search for jailbreak on this device, you will Google will take you to kindlemodding.org. You can just browse your Kindle models and when you open the it doesn't even say it's for jailbreak. I mean it's for jailbreaking, but it doesn't say anywhere. Even the file here is very old. It's like from 2015 and there is a much newer one. So the actual files are in a thread called snapshot of the illusions hacks. So this is the guy that makes, you know, all those jailbreaks. I mean, he's probably a part of a group or something. While all the files are good here, there is one thing we need to get from somewhere else, which is the mobile read Kindle kit. MKK. This will not work because if you use this one, your jailbreak will get lost every time you turn on the Wi-Fi. Niluj actually gave us the file somewhere else in a comment and I do have it bookmarked somewhere else. If we use this one, this is the updated one, it will stick. The jailbreak will not go away. Okay, now it's reset and let's head over to the tool snapshot page and get this first one kindle jailbreak 0.13.n inside the folder you should get the update jailbreak 013 nk 3 w install this is the one we are using so we will place this bin file to our main kindle folder and then we'll disconnect it from the computer and then update it Going to the menu, then settings, and then again menu, and then update your Kindle. Now the upgrade is done and the jailbreak is installed. Now this is the time we'll install Kual. For Kindle 3 keyboard, we'll have to use Kual-KDK-1.0. This file. And we'll have to put it in the documents folder in Kindle. It has to be 1.01. This is the file for legacy Kindles. Which Kindle 3 keyboard is? Now you can install the Kual helper. It's not really mandatory, but if you want to have some extra functions, you can do that. I do have it. Uh, like uh, disable or enable OTA updates on the Kindle. Since there will be no more updates to this Kindle, 
I guess you can avoid it, but this is up to you. And to install it, you just have to copy all the things in this zip folder and drag it to your Kindle folder. After that, you have to install MKK from a different thread. Update MKK, uh, K3W, B08. Yeah, this is the one. We'll place it in the Kindle folder and install it the same way we did install the jailbreak. Going to the menu, then settings, and then again menu, and then update your Kindle. And that's it for the jailbreaking part. Let's install CoReader now. I'm gonna head over to the CoReader repository and grab the latest release from here. We need to download CoReader Kindle Legacy one. And once you have it, you just open the zip file and copy everything or just drag and drop everything from this folder to your Kindle's main drive okay like so that's it you're done let me go over to the kindle and check everything Now you can actually compare the speed difference between the default Kindle interface which is kind of faster because you know it, it's just a simple software it doesn't have anything else in there and versus the CoReader current OS or current version which is surely a lot heavier than the Kindle interface the Kindle default interface while CoReader is a bit slower than the Kindle one it does come packed with so many things so keep that in mind I personally do not really get bothered with slow refresh rate I know I did say that it's, it's abysmal but yeah it doesn't really bother me because I'm quite sure turning a page on paper takes way more time so that's it for this video i guess i do want to share a few tricks and trips in the future on this channel so i guess stay tuned if you want no pressure and if you run into any problems just uninstall everything is you'll see that in each case like the mkk file there will be an uninstall.bin file in jailbreak folder there will be also a file for uninstall uninstall.bin file and you can just uninstall every single thing and start from the beginning and follow the entire process once again it will work